song uh, that I'm singing it has kind of a background and has a story to it, so I thought I'd tell it to you for a story night. Uh, you see, last year was my first time out hunting elk. Uh, it's kind of a big task for somebody who's a third year hunter and only had advice from his 78 year old grandpa on hunting. Uh, no idea how to pack out an elk. I had no idea how the work that went into it. Just thought you go out and shoot an elk, whatever. That's not how it goes. <laughs> I was out there for 12 days. By like day eight, man, I smelled like, I don't know, like a Chechen locker room, like terrible, awful. Uh, I was just sweating my ass off, walking up and down the mountains for 10 days, and I got up on some elk. I got up on some, some real elk. And uh, I thought, you know what? It's getting a little past shooting hours. I'm gonna have to come back in the morning, come up and chase these elk. So I went out and chased the elk in the morning, I thought would be the plan, but snowed four, four feet overnight. Uh, slows you down a bit when you're doing it by foot. Uh, yeah, so I thought, you know, well, maybe I lost out on elk, but it's kind of a win to just be out here enjoying our public land. So that was always, that was always the, the driver in that. Now, getting home was another thing, you see, because I drove this shitty Mitsubishi truck, and uh, the thing barely had four-wheel drive. And after 10 days being out in that woods, it was just, I was stinking my ass off, trying to drive, and my tires were slipping, and I was on, I was on a freeway. And granted, I was only going like 30, but I, really sliding around. And I thought, man, if I crash here, this is gonna be a double loss. Thankfully, I didn't crash, but my truck broke down. Uh, my truck broke down, and then I had to take a flight back, and can't take my guns on the plane. So there I am, gunless sitting down in Spokane Airport, looking to fly back to Seattle. And uh, when I got home, I was hit with some pretty interesting news that uh, my girlfriend, she didn't, she didn't care for me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, 10 days out in the woods is enough time for her to realize she doesn't need you. <laughs> and uh, I was telling Kyle about it here when I got back home, and I was like, damn, man, truck broke down. Girlfriend broke up with me. <laughs> didn't catch anything for her. Didn't shoot an elk. And he's like, man, that's a country song. And I said, fuck yeah, that's a country song. <laughs> so here we are. The song's called Elk Camp Loose. <laughs> I was off chasing herds. Heard you've been chasing too. My truck broke down all alone now, looking a damn fool. Got skunked on elk and got skunked here with you. And oh, I'm just singing those elk camp blues. <laughs> running around the wood, we all got running to do. So a Pendleton for me and a good luck to you. <laughs> they say a clean miss is better than a bad shot and wound. So I guess I won't be hearing from you soon. So break out the bottle, throw the cork in the fire. If you called me, you loved me, i call you a liar. Now you're slipping away like the road from my tires And I don't care, cause I'm drinking tonight So go and get yours, I'll spend my nights pacing back and forth Rambling with some poets from way up north I'll keep chasing elk, a thing you never understood I'm more alone now than I was in the wood. So I break out the bottle, throw a cork in the fire. If you told me you love me, I'd call you a liar. You're slipping away like the road from my tires, and I don't care, cause I'm drinking tonight.
Couldn't tell it to me whole, didn't think I'd understand. Don't you know I'm a gentle soul, baby, got no fear for these hands. I'm a God-fearing man, and plus my guns are in Spokane. I think a simple goodbye will do. So break out the bottle, roll the cork in the fire. If you told me you love me, I'd call you a lie. Now you're slipping away like the road from my tires, and goddamn, I'm drinking tonight. Damn, he's drinking tonight. Thank you, Dylan. That was great.